Hey y'all, I'm in the Columbus airport in Ohio. Uh, last time I was here was about five years ago. Uh, I'm gonna jump to the next scene in this video to tell you a little bit about the journey that we've been on with a brand that I work with and how it all started here in Columbus five years ago. So stay tuned. Hey guys, look at that. Here's Miguel. That's Cliff Bacon. I'm at Agave and Rye. All right, so I'm here in uh, Columbus, Ohio, like I mentioned at the airport. And as I kind of show you around this store that they're doing their soft opening on Monday, which is their 12th location. You're gonna hear some noises. They're still doing construction. Um, but I wanna just kind of quickly tell you a fun story. So these are all, uh, these are little private booths. Um, the art is just the artist they use. I'm going to show you a picture in a second. It's just insane. Um, but if you're interested in the menu or anything, you can look up agaveandrye.com so you can learn more about kind of the food that they do. But about five years ago, I was here in Columbus and I met with the owners of two restaurants, not Agave and Rye, and um, they were struggling. The restaurants weren't doing so well. They were really having some issues. And so... It was a very, um, I'm just being careful with my words because I don't want to hurt anyone or, or say anything that could potentially hurt anyone, but they, they were lost. And after I spent three days with them, we kind of realized that the way that they were doing business needed to change. And so we got, we got to work on kind of making some changes and things. And they also just realized that they had just had the wrong concepts in the wrong locations and they had the wherewithal to to basically walk away from those two restaurants, shut down, take what they could and start over. And they, they moved to a new city a couple hours away. They moved to Cincinnati and they found a fun little spot and we developed a concept together called Agave and Rye. And we opened it up kind of following the things that I believe in. Team members first, um, service absolutely first, uh, uncompromising on quality of food not expensive, but uncompromising on quality, very modern, fun menus, but at low price points or affordable price points. But again, five-star service, five-star food, everything made from scratch. And they blew it out of the water. I mean, just blew it out of the water. They worked so hard and they did such an amazing job. Look, a little arcade. How fun is that? I'm gonna walk you through the kitchen and I wanna show you the last piece of art here. But then, um, and it took off and it did great. And, you know, I don't want to get into all the details, but four years later, we're back in Columbus. This is their second location. They opened up another location two weeks ago in Columbus. I didn't take pictures, but I'll edit some video in from that they have. But they opened up, like I said, uh, this, they opened up one location in Columbus two weeks ago. It's doing great. It has five stars. Five stars with 50 reviews on Yelp. Five stars with over 50 reviews on Google five stars on Facebook. They literally have five stars. They've not gotten one review less than five stars with a couple hundred reviews in two weeks, which is just insane. But it's a testament to systems, processes, procedures, training. I mean, I couldn't even begin to get into the amount of systems and processes and procedures that we have built in this company over the last um, four years. But to go from, from closing two restaurants to opening up a new restaurant basically with whatever equipment you can get out of your other two and credit card debt and those loan shark debts to this, I can't share numbers with you, but the numbers are insane. To this, to 12 locations with four more or three more on the slate for this year is just insane. It's just insane. So I couldn't be more proud of the entire team. I couldn't be more proud of the operations. I couldn't be more proud of everyone and just to see the lives change through this brand is just unreal but dude, their artist their artist name is geo he does all their restaurants it's insane so look at this so this is robin williams but from this side it's mrs doubtfire and from this side it's robin williams and then you can't see because the box but it's all of his movies there's scenes from all his famous movies in the background so just just pretty insane stuff here, but wanted to give you kind of a quick update. Chris, say hi. Hey. And that's it. This is Agave and Ryan. You guys have a great one. 
you want to learn to play the guitar, you'd hire a coach. If you want to learn to swing a golf club, you'd hire a coach. A great coach helps you achieve your goals faster. So why would you try to grow your restaurant without a coach? Getting access to our top quality training was financially out of reach for many restaurants until now. The Restaurant Boss membership gives you access to all of the training, resources, coaching, and webinars you need to properly increase your profits, improve your operations, and grow for less than a cup of coffee a day. Plus, when you join our membership program, you can work with me weekly. We call it Rocket Fuel, and I bet you can guess why. Are you ready to create real change in your restaurant? Join the Restaurant Boss family today.